Hello and welcome to a new Power Query challenge. Today we have a very simple challenge. Let's go back to Excel and have a look together. We have a company selling a single product and the product started to be sold at the 1st of January 22. The price at that time was only 500. 15th of March, the price updated to 515 and another update at 15th of April to reach 520. The only requirement is to use Power Query to split the date column into two columns. I split the table extracted from Power Query, split it into start date and end date. If you check the first line, the start date of the first price is 1st of January, ends 14th of March. And then we have a new price at 15th of March, ends 14th of April. And then we have another new price in 15th of April, ends 18th of November and 18th of November is nothing but today's date why because we don't have any updates between 15th of April and today let's try to test how this query works I'm going to add another two lines two prices control C and control V right click and refresh and here you go all updated and if you check the sequence of date is working perfectly the very last price starts 11th of August which is basically one day after the end of the previous price and this price is valid until today as you can see 18th of November the challenge looks simple however it requires you to use some of the date functions you need to add and subtract some days from the date and also you may need to use the try and the otherwise that we spoke about a few days ago if you find the solution or even part of the solution please share it with me on the email that's going to appear on the screen right now and also use the same description on the screen as well waiting for your replies best of luck and see you and bye